the founder and al-Qaeda chief Osama bin Laden, the face of global terrorism and architect of the September 11, 2001 attacks, was killed in a firefight with elite American forces on the intervening night of Sunday and Monday at a three-story mansion in the military town of Abbottabad, Pakistan. Osama was then quickly buried at sea in a stunning finale to a decade-long chase to nab the fugitive terrorist and America's most wanted man who was on the run. The military operation took a mere 40 minutes. Long believed to be hiding in caves in the lawless region of northern mountainous region of Pakistan, Bin Laden was tracked down at a costly custom-built hideout not far from a Pakistani military academy. The compound is said to be about 100 yards from the Pakistani military academy in a town that is home to three army regiments and thousands of military personnel. Abbottabad is surrounded by hills and with mountains in the distance. Justice has been done. President Barack Obama said in a dramatic announcement at the White House. U.S. helicopters ferried elite counterterrorism troops to the mansion identified by the CIA as Bin Laden's hideout from Afghanistan and the operation was over in less than 40 minutes. Bin Laden was shot in the head after he and his bodyguards resisted the attempt to catch them alive. Three adult males were also killed in the raid, including one of Bin Laden's sons, whom officials did not name. One of Bin Laden's sons, Hamza, is a senior member of Al-Qaeda. U.S. officials also said one woman was killed when she was used as a shield by a male combatant and two other women were injured. The U.S. official who disclosed that the burial took place at a sea said it would have been difficult to find a country willing to accept the remains. President Obama said the remains had been handled in accordance with Islamic customs which require speedy burial. Bin Laden's death marks a psychological triumph following a long struggle after the September 11 attacks in which 3,000 persons died in the United States in 2001 and seems certain to give a powerful boost to President Obama's re-election bid in 2012, but its ultimate impact on Al-Qaeda is less clear.